Hello, my name is Brian Dibble, uh, Service Supply, and I'm going to show you how to install one of our canteen corks that we cut. Years ago, uh, the supply, the surplus corks for canteens ran out. They were 50 cents a piece back in the day for original corks. Uh, anyway, big problem now is uh, finding corks, and you can see I've got a canteen here with a old cork. It was in there pretty tight, but apparently it just fell out just before I set up the video, but at any rate, if you do use a knife to cut it out, be careful not to cut yourself, and uh, wedge that baby out. Some, some come out easy, some come out pretty rough. This one, because you could see it was so hard and mashed, um, you know, there's just nothing left. Our corks do not need glue. You do not need to have glue to get them in and keep them in. They'll stay in um, for the duration. They're, the original ones were pretty thick and you can see over time they start to get thin. Ours are the right th size for original corks. Um, you might see a little roughness on the edges, but again it's the, it's the saw blade we're using. It's, uh, it's a tricky thing to cut them and we cut six at a time through a big block of cork. So you'll see the rough edges, but I assure you uh, that's not an issue. Um, so, I do have instructions that come with it. Uh, I would recommend you read them carefully, and of course watching this video really helps. So when you take your new cork, uh, the one thing you want to avoid is cramming the cork in there, because if you cram it in with your thumb, at this stage it will crack and break. So what we tell you in the instructions, and I'll show you in this video, is you wedge it in pretty tight at an angle, just like this, as far as it'll, as, just so it holds, so it won't fall out. And then what you're going to use is the actual rim of the canteen itself to wedge that baby in. When you press the cap onto the canteen, you're using the entire edge of the rim to press evenly on all sides. And so you're going to find that it goes on there really nicely and it will not crack that cork. So you just place your canteen in, start to squeeze that thing on. Once you get it kind of lined up, I will spin it backwards a little bit until it catches the threads. Whoops. Once it catches the threads, now I can go ahead and crank it on until it's firm. I can feel it going snug. And then when I take it off, blow the dust out. And as you can see, it's seated solid, firmly on the base, no glue. Um, you know, tapping out a little. Cork residue is easy, but there it is, and uh, it's in solid, won't come out, it'll last you a good two or three more years, and fits tightly, won't leak, uh, there you go, replacement corks, service of supply, I think they're 65 cents, pretty fair price for a whole lot of trouble and, uh, and labor, so thanks for watching, and uh, see our website for other great products as well that uh, the reenactor needs. Thanks again.